Today we're going to be doing a first mag impression of the Sky CPX2. I never thought I'd buy this gun, but when it was $125, it's cheaper than a high point. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So today we're going to be shooting a couple mags. We got uh, seven yards from a target at a half size M6 size target. And we'll see how it goes. So. Okay, right off the bat, that trigger sucks. Um, if you're wearing gloves, if you're wearing gloves, the reset, having to let all the way out, to there, you have to let it all the way out. So with gloves on, that is kind of difficult to do. So. First malfunction. Not even one mag in, or we got, or not even two mags in, and we have enough. Okay. Oh. Okay, so, so far, it seems when I'm putting that magazine first in there, the first bolt is getting caught on the feed lamps of the gun. And so, tap backing it, or is there I just gave it a little push, it seems to go into battery at that point. The trigger, it's long and the trigger is uh, long and heavy, but it is fairly smooth for what it is. Uh, again, this is not going to replace a Glock, but for $125 after a manual rebate, um, still better than high. So. Another malfunction. Oh, mates. We'll see if it's better than a high point. Okay, at the end there is starting to get sluggish. I did not clean this gun before I shot it, so straight it's dry from the factory with whatever lube they put on it. So okay, so we do have a bonus mag. Uh, so far we put about 150 uh, or about 100 rounds to this gun. Probably on three or four malfunctions, a stove pipe, double feed. Uh, it has not been sh uh, cleaned yet since buying it, so it's, we're running it dry, so that could be an issue there. But we've just been running 115 grain Blazer Brass, and uh, yeah, again, the uh, first round got caught on the uh, <coughs> feed ramps. And one thing to notice is it does have a large slide catch, slide release, which uh, when it's getting caught like that is kind of useless. But we'll keep shooting and see how it goes. First impressions, it's a budget gun. Trigger sucks. Uh, not horrible for $125, but for you're paying $250 or more for it, there's better options out there. But we'll keep shooting and see how it goes. Okay. 